Now today we're going to talk about identifying the true mask. And the true mask is very debatable. There are a lot of things that are debatable. Whether we should cover or not cover. Whether we should push our stomachs out when we breathe or whether we should pull our stomachs in when we breathe. There's a lot of debatable stuff. All you can try to do is prove your point. And if you can't prove it to people's satisfaction, then sorry, they don't believe you. What can you do? If I push my stomach out when I breathe and fill up my belly, I expand my belly outward when I breathe, and I start to sing, I get Now, that way of breathing, expanding the belly out and singing, places the voice in the false mask, which is in the nasal cavity. And Caruso said right at the beginning of his book, never sing into the nasal cavity. It's against all the rules of song, he said. There were a lot of reasons. Back in those days, they didn't have microphones and sound enhancement systems. You had to be heard over an orchestra in the back of a big theater. And those operas they were doing were brand new, so nobody knew the melodies and nobody knew the text. So you had to sing in a way that pronounced clearly, that projected not only your voice and the music, but also the text. So never sing into the nose. That was one of his first rules. That's one of the first rules I ever heard about when I was a student growing up and uh, I was in the Metropolitan Opera School and every great singer I ever talked to said, oh, no, no, never sing in the nose. Should have heard Franco Corelli giving a master class talking about the nose. We hate the nose, the Italians hate the nose. Why American all sing it like a singer through the straw, sing in the nose. On the other hand, you have people who say, raise the soul palate. And go, nya, 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 nya. Now, all of those distortions wouldn't be necessary if I didn't have my nose open to start with, which means I breathed wrong. Now, what happens if I breathe in my lower back and I go, na, na. now because my diaphragm went down in the back, the third law of motion applies, and every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So if I breathe down and back, guess what? My salt palate goes up and forward and closes my nose. Now, I want to talk a little bit about vocalises that we can do that identify the true mask. If I do ma, 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 and I use M, I'm in the M resonance, which is in the nose. Ma, 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 right? But if I do one of the consonants in any language, but in a consonant that closes the nose, my voice then jumps above the false mask and goes into the true mask. So I go, ba, ba, B closes my nose. So I'm going to go, mm, ba, mm, ba, mm, ba, 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 and now my nose is closed. The result is my resonance is now up here, what Lily Lehman called the upper front half of the skull. If I sing that way, ba, 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 my nose is closed. Simple. What happens when I get into the high notes? Now, if I do M, ma, 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 I'm in the false mask, I push my stomach out and breathe, it throws my voice into the false mask, I'm nasal. So I go, ah, ah, and I'm choking to death. I have no, no space, no room. I can't make a high note unless I modify my throat, modify the vowel, lift my palate, or do something. So, that means if I breathe with my belly going out, and I start to tone, and it's sitting in the wrong mask down here, and it's going, ah, 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 ah. When I get to the upper notes, I'm going to have to modify. Ah, 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 ah. Well, the first rule of the old bel canto school was no action in the throat. So I just broke two rules, because the second rule is no change of emission. I just... Made an action to get the high note, and I had to change my emission or let my emission change because I made a big action. And every action is an equal opposite reaction. So, what if I use a, a consonant that closes my nose and my nose is shut and I'm going ba 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 right? Somebody said, well, you didn't cover. It must be wide open. No, it's not wide open. It's, ah, 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 ah. That's using muscles in my throat to try to keep it open. Remember, first rule, no action in the throat. 
So all of these vocalises we do, we do because it closes the nose. That's one reason we do them. It also causes a response in the diaphragm, and you get a diaphragmatic response to every one of these. If I, if you watch my tummy, I go ba 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 and then it relaxes. Uh, Pavarotti compared this in his master class at Juilliard to the to the uh, to the babies laughing and crying. He said he had three babies. He watched them, and when they laughed and cried, they 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 would breathe behind them, and then the stomachs would jump out. And he said in the class, he said, "Push out, the push out like a baby, push out." So I asked him after I said, "Do you mean push, spin?" He said, "No, no, no." He says "Ho sbagliato la parola." I made a mistake with the word. He said, "I mean a lean, a lean, a lean, and no push, a lean." Because if I really push like that, I get a reaction in my throat. Remember, every action has an opposite and equal reaction, so I can't do that. So I have to do something that this is reacted to the fact that I'm singing in the true mask. So you might say that, that uh, vocally number one is ba be bo boo because Bob closes your nose. Ba 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 be 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 bo 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 ba 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 if my nose is open, mama ma goes quello, my memory is on, quello, no. Immediately, you hear it, it's in my nose. The problem with that is, believe it or not, the sound does not carry well, it doesn't, does not project over big orchestras. Now, I've sung uh, Queen of Spades and Meister Singer and Parsifal and Flying Dutchman and Endless Carmen's, almost 500 Carmen's, I'm telling you. When you're in there singing this big stuff and the orchestra's really swelling out and you realize if your voice gets in your nose, nobody will hear you. You don't believe me. Just ask your friends to sit in the back of the theater when you're singing with a big orchestra and watch what happens. Where is he? Can't hear him. So tracheal resonance, oh sang as a bass in college. I use tracheal resonance. Right? Doesn't carry, nobody can hear it. But the voice is ingolata, it's in the throat. Or I go ma 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 Bob, there it is, now it's closed. I go, no, I don't have a feeling, what have you, my friend? Now, there are any number of ways to get the nose to close and stay closed while you sing, so let's go through them. We just talked about Bob, Bob, Bob. Let's do the tongue trill. The tongue trill is the great throat looser, it loosens the back of the tongue like crazy, so I go, now I'm saying my vowels inside back there somewhere, I don't know where, I'm going, A, E, E, O, U. Where is my resonance when I do that? See? Uh-oh, not my nose. Where'd it go then? Guess what? The minute I do a tongue trill, I get a response in my tummy right here. All I have to do in my throat, in my uh, jaw, and in my tongue is nothing. If I do nothing, then I, I have to sing diaphragmatically. It's just that song. I can't sing any other way. But these guys that are doing nasal singing, ma 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 ma, so many of them sing with their jaws pulled down like this. How many languages do you know where people talk like that? We used to have a little joke we did with small children. We called it the wide mouth frog. You know, the frog goes up to the cow and says, Hi, how are you? I'm a wide mouth frog. What are you? See? In other words, why in the world would you distort the language to the point it doesn't sound like any human language spoken on the planet? On the other hand, if I go, 
Ba 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 ba. How are you today? I can speak perfectly normally. How are you today? I can say anything I want to say, and you can understand me. And my pronunciation is normal, and I can do it in any language, right? Dobbiamo parlare in italiano. Vogliamo andare nel città francese per comprare qualcosa per mangiare stasera. And I do not have to go. Oh no, 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 no. Once you get in the nose. Ma 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 Ignorant and don't know any better will hear that and say, Oh my god, you're a dramatic voice. Well, guess what? I'm not a dramatic voice. I'm somebody who's distorting the heck out of my throat and my tongue. Who knows what my tongue is doing? And if I do nothing, hello. Now it's very important. I made the action. I stuck out my tongue. That's one action. Then I pressed down with my lips on my tongue. And then I sing through it. So that's the action I did. I don't want to make a new action by going and don't suddenly open. So I'll go and then I relax. Nothing to it. It's easy as pie. Diaphragm sings it. I'm doing nothing, and I'm 81 years old, and I can still sing. Hope you guys are having as much fun singing as I am. <laughs> I'm having a ball. Now, another one that will cause a reaction in the diaphragm and will close the nose is if you use any kind of combinations with Y. Like ya 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 causes reaction diaphragm. The reaction diaphragm causes the salt palate to go up and forward and closes the nose. So one of the vocal leases is yum 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 yum. I'm starting with my nose open and then I use the Y immediately so to get that contrast and I can identify uh, the, the, the mass very easily that way. Mm, is not it? Nya yeah, is it? So I go yum 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 Again, it's, I'm getting a reaction. Yum yum Yum, 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 yum. The minute I say that, why my stomach jumps out. I'm not doing that. It's a reaction. Now, it is very important to understand that you're not just free to breathe any old way you want to breathe. You must breathe in a way that prepares this process for you. And I mentioned uh, in the beginning, if you breathe way down behind you in your lower back, especially if you pull your stomach in, like Caruso recommended and Lily Lehman and Joan Sutherland and any number of singers that I've talked to, great famous singers actually, Helga Rosvenia, Lauritz Melchior, you know, people like that, Birgit Nielsen. People talked about breathing in the back and some of them talked very much about uh, pulling the abdomen inward when you breathe in because it causes compression, more compression of the air down your lower back. So... If I pull my stomach in, I get, and that puts the air way down my lower back. And if I do that, the reaction is that my voice goes up in the true mask. So I'm doing yum yum. So I'm going to breathe in. Yum 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 yum. Now, if I really do nothing in my throat, what happens? A lot of singers get seduced sometimes by the resonance. The resonance is very masky. It's very forward. It penetrates like cake. When I used to sing like that, and I'd sing whatever. It was some lyric, well, Bohem or Rigoletto or something. People come and say, oh my gosh, you're a true Heldon tenor. I said, no, I'm not. <laughs> Have you ever heard Heldon tenor? I've heard Lois Melchior, man. Don't tell me what a Heldon tenor is, you know? You, are you crazy? Uh, those guys sing all night in the middle voice and then still have to have a high C one night and the voice has got to be big enough to get to a 130 piece orchestra all night long in the middle voice sometimes. Yeah. So we have to just sing with where it goes and not do anything. I can cover if I want to make an effect. Ooh, that's something else again. Shouldn't do it. I'm guilty. I've done it. <laughs> I'm human uh, and I've done it all. But believe me, after, 80, uh, after 62 years of teaching this, actually in June, it'll be 63 years 
since I started teaching singing, and I've been around every great singer. I was in the Catholic Law School at the Metropolitan. I talked to every great singer about how they sang, and a couple of them wouldn't talk to you, and everybody else would just go into great detail and tell you how they sang, and I'll try to share that one day, what so-and-so said so-and-so, you know. All right, so then we got yum yum, and don't be seduced by the masked residents. You'll go yum 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 yum, and the first thing you know, your mind goes, it's listening to it, going yum 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 yum. No, you don't do that. You just sing on your dive, and yum 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 yum, and all I'm doing is saying the word, and the word sits on my diaphragm because the nyum reacts there. And my voice goes in the mask, and that sound is the one everybody comes back and tells you, Oh my God, you're a dramatic tenor. I got offered Otello and accepted it in Wiesbaden, in the Hessen State Theater in Wiesbaden, when I was 26. <laughs> Tenors rush in where fools fear to tread. I had a big injury that summer and couldn't open the season with Otello, thank God. And I sang Casio instead, and everybody said, oh, a beautiful lyric tenor. <laughs> I got great reviews for Casio. I stole the show, show the reviews, because everybody, you know, it was a new tenor. They wanted to review me, and sure enough, I, uh, that was da-da-da, dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-d
e qui postati. So there was a common, there was a common way of thinking when I was a student, and all those famous great historical singers were still alive. Uh, all of them breathed behind them and sang in front of them. And none of them, uh, some of them even sang behind them, you know? Some of them would actually would drop the voice down there, down the back of their throat. We'll get into that too. That's phonation. That, we'll get into that with phonation. But with breathing, I go way down my lower back, and then I go, hoo ah, hoo ah, ba 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 ba, yum 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 yum. All these vocalises put me right in my diaphragm, relax my throat, and place the resonance in the true mask, which is above the nasal cavity. Okay? So lip clamp. Mm -hmm. It puts you in here like crazy, right? Uh, that's one of the use when you want to get a little bit more, you know, dramatic, a little bit more intense. Ma, ma. You can do it piano also, but it still stays intense. Ma, ma, Dio, mi potevi scagliare. You can use that when you need to be have some dramatic declamation and keep it off your throat. You can keep it on the diaphragm by lip clamping a little bit, especially if you warm it up. Now, let's try a slightly different one, which is... Leonard Warren's famous pre-sneeze. <laughs> now, I'm going to I'm going to form a, uh, the, the what I do when I right before I sneeze. I go, oh, 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 oh. That's the way he demonstrated. Oh, 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 oh. The pre-sneeze made me lift my soft palate up and forward. That's what Lily Lehman talks about in her book. Said the soft palate goes up and forward. See. The great singers knew those things. Nobody pulled straight up or straight back. Everybody went up and forward with the soft palate. So if I do it mechanically, I get. If I do that, I get a kind of a, uh, a very still diaphragm here called the static diaphragm. And I hold it dead still. See? Now the whole belly wall is holding completely still, and I'm using the pre-sneeze to find the true mass. So I go, oh, 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 oh. guess what? It's not in my nose. It's up here. So see, Lord, I'm never willing, why do you mind See? You might detect a slight difference in the quality of my voice or in the weight of my voice or in the color or whatever you want to call it. If I'm doing uh, you know, something a little bigger and more dramatic, I might use that sometime. Right? I'm certainly not going to go uh, and pull the voice down under the mask and let it come out of my mouth. I had a New Zealand colleague who used to say, you know, mate, if you open the barn door, the cow will get out. He said, don't open anything. So he and Peter Glossop, uh, Peter Glossop worked with me for a while. They all sing with their, with their they vocalize with their teeth together, right? And uh, they sing through the mouth slit. We'll talk about that a little bit. Crystal Ludwig used to do a lot of uh, uh, very, very narrow, very small mouth. She was, you know, fantastic, was a fantastic singer. You know? And uh, it's sort of really what happens on, in, on the inside that matters. But if I do the pre-sneeze, it'll go, Oh, how are you today? It's so nice to be here. I will, it, might, it makes my voice a little bit dark. Uh, see? So I could sing uh, whatever. I could sing something like, uh, like Otello. Am I really an Otello voice? Well, I can make my voice do things and sound with different colors, right? But if I was that one, yum yum, I mean, yum yum, Jesus, so now I'm starting to get this array of colors, like an artist with this palette with all his colors on it. See, I'm getting so I have the possibility to make different colors with a free throat. The whole time the throat is uninvolved and stays completely free. It does not at all ever get involved and doesn't flex. You can go ba 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 yum 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 ba 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 ba
jawless, and tongueless. My tongue is like that. Nothing works up here. No jaw, no tongue, no throat, nothing. This is the result. The resonance is the result of something I do down inside. You can imagine that if you don't work up here and you don't let anything happen up here, you've got to sing somewhere else. That's, so that's Ava Turner. Dame Ava Turner sang the first tour in England in 1923. I think it was 23. She used to say, you know, darlings, if you can't do anything up here, you must do something somewhere else, mustn't you? That's logical, see? So the idea is to go down and sing down in the diaphragm, which kicks the voice up here. The breath comes from way down low in the back. That's everybody's mistake. Everybody's pushing their stomach out when I do that. I push my stomach out, and they're trying to sing. It's in so, ah, my nose. Immediately. Right? All right, so I think we'll stop with this one, and then we'll do uh, part, two, part two of the en encyclopedia of ways to breathe, and we will see what happens, okay?